For the past six years, Hines County has been under a federal consent decree because of conditions here at the Raymond Detention Center for the inmates. Now, Board of Supervisors members are squarely against a federal takeover. They say if that does happen, they want the federal judge to put limits on how much power that special receiver could have. So these are some of the newly promoted command staff people. Hines County Sheriff Tyree Jones announcing a new leadership team, which includes an historic appointment. To my left here, I have uh, Chief Deputy Latasha Holmes. She is a 20 plus year veteran of the Hines County Sheriff's Office. Latasha Holmes is the first woman named Chief Deputy. The sheriff also appointed Jared Taylor as the new undersheriff. With 25 years experience, Taylor replaces Alan White, who was recently suspended and demoted from that position following an internal investigation in which the sheriff said warranted disciplinary action. The operational changes will have no impact on a looming federal takeover of the Raymond Detention Center. We are working to make sure that we do all that we can to satisfy the Justice Department and the judge. An attorney for the Board of Supervisors recently told U.S. District Judge Carlton Reeves such a drastic step is not warranted and they oppose a takeover. But if that does happen, they say a receiver should have limited power to hire and fire personnel and that a majority of the board must approve any proposed budget modifications. The county also wants the receivership to end once the first phase of a new jail opens. We're going to be breaking ground very soon on the new facility. So, so we, as a board, we're doing all that we can. And a receiver, I don't think, can do much better. Meantime, the county just purchased 75 new body cameras for deputies. The sheriff says it's a chance to provide transparency. For law enforcement to have a body cam on them on a day-to-day -day basis is just as important as any other tool that they have. County leaders say they could break ground on the first phase of the new jail, possibly within the next week, as that federal takeover draws near federal judge Carlton Reeves, planning to appoint a receiver to take over day-to-day -day operations here at Raymond by November. Tonight, we're live at Raymond. Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.